Hi students, the next topic is Foundations of Modern Cryptography. The basic concepts of modern cryptography are Perfer Security, Information Theory, Product Crypto System and Cryptanalysis. Why we need to study modern cryptography? Because it is a key to advanced computer and communication security which means the security mechanisms which we are used to today is based on modern cryptography. So this concept is derived from the basic ideas of mathematics such as number theory, computational complexity theory and probability. The types of modern cryptography algorithms are, it is also broadly classified into two, one is symmetric key encryption, the examples are RC4 algorithm, AES algorithm, DES algorithm and triple DES algorithm. And another one type is asymmetric key encryption. The examples are Diffie-Hellman key exchange and RSE algorithm. Let's see one by one. First is perfect security. It is defined as the cipher text shouldn't convey any additional information about the plain text. It was introduced by Clark Shannon in 1948. It is otherwise known as unconditional security or information theoretic security. The figure depicts the ciphertext only attack model. So here is the sender S yes, sends a message M to the receiver R. We are using the encryption function E with key value K to convert the message M to encrypted text C before sending it to the receiver. Here the attacker may have the chance to read the message C. Even though he can read the message C, if the encryption model is supporting perfect security, it will not convey any information about the plain text. Let's see the basic definitions and properties of perfect security model. This is the attacker's view about Pi which includes key generation, encryption and decryption functions. Pi induces a probability distribution on message M, key value K and ciphertext message C. The attacker is keep on working of the model to get the probability distribution values of M, K, C. So the probability distribution on key value K which is induced by key generation it is generally a uniform distribution so the probability of selecting the key value k is equal to 1 divided by number of key values in the set k that is if you are having 4 key values in the set k then selecting any one of the key value from the set has the probability value as 1 divided by 4 then probability distribution on message m is induced by the prior information about the plain text. So if you are having the plain text set as attack or retreat, attacker may get the knowledge about the probability of uh, producing the probability of selecting the plain text as 0.7 or 0.3 like this. And probability distribution on ciphertext C, it is not a dependent variable. It is depending on the previous two values k and m and also the steps of encryption so probability of getting the value c is depending on the encryption function and also message and key value let's see an example here the plain text contains the values a and b so the probability of selecting the value a as 1 by 4 and b as 3 by 4 and the key values at k includes k1, k2, k3. The probability values are 1 by 2, 1 by 4. And the ciphertext values, that is output, will be any one of these values 1, 2, 3, 4. So take a look on the encryption matrix. Here the plain text values are given in column wise and the key values are given in row wise. So we may infer the key encryption matrix as if you are applying the key value k1 on the plain text a then it will result the output as 1 and if you are choosing the key value k1 and apply the value on plain text b then it will result the output 2 likewise we need to calculate the 
probability values of output 1, 2, 3, 4. Just follow the encryption matrix. When will we get the output as 1? When the key value is k1 and the plain text is a, we just multiply these two values, these two probabilities. So k1 equal to 1 by 2 and a equal to 1 by 4. 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 8. And for this output 2, we have two combo k1b and k2a. So k1b plus k2a will result the probability value of 2. So k1b 1 by 2 into 3 by 4 plus k2a 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 that is 7 by 16 and for 3 we also have two combinations that is k2b and k3a so the result result is 1 by 4 and for 4 we are having only one combination that is k3b 3 by 4 into 1 by 4 which is 3 by 16 and then we need to calculate the conditional probabilities that is probability of having the plain text as A when the cipher text is 1. The conditional probability formula is given here. Probability of x is equal to x given y equal to y is equal to probability of x is equal to x into probability of y equal to y given x is equal to x divided by probability of y equal to y. So we just apply this formula here. So probability of x equal to a pro into probability of y equal to 1 given x equal to a divided by probability of y equal to 1. So we just have the value of this one from the problem itself. It is 1 by 4 into probability of y equal to 1 given x is equal to a. We just check the column of a when will we get the output as 1 that is when the key value is k1 we get the output as 1 we just include the a column only because we are getting the value for a so when the key value is k1 we get the answer as 1 for the plain text a so we just take the probability of k1 that is 1 by 2 divided by probability of y equal to 1 that is now calculated 1 by 8. So 1 by 8 divided by 1 by 8 is 1. And for this probability of x is equal to a is 1 by 4. And probability of y equal to 2 given x is equal to a. So just follow the a column only. When the key value is k2 we will get the output as 2. So the probability of k2 is 1 by 4. We just take this value alone and y equal to 2 is calculated that is 7 by 16 so 1 by 16 divided by 7 by 16 is 1 by 7 and for this 1 by 4 into y equal to 3 when the key value is k3 so that is 1 by 4 divided by y equal to 3 is 1 by 4 so the answer is 1 by 8 divided by 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 and for this 1 by 4 here we don't have the output is 4 for the column A. So it is just 0 divided by 3 by 16 is equal to 0. Likewise for these values the result is 0 because in the B column we don't have the value 1. 6 by 7, 3 by 4, 1. We just need to check whether these four values are equivalent to probability of x is equal to a. What is the value? That is 1 by 4. And these four values should be equivalent to probability of x is equal to b that is 3 by 4. Why do we need to check these two values? Because it interprets that the probability of knowing plain text remains the same before and after seeing the cipher text. So before seeing the cipher text, the probability of selecting the plain text is 1 by 4. Then after seeing the cipher text like 1, 2, 3, 4, the probability value should be equivalent to 1 by 4. That, that it means after seeing the cipher text, it will not reveal any additional information about the plain text. So this 
so that the system will be known as the it follows the perfect security but this system will not follow the perfect security